One thing that brought me into this temple was the warm, friendly atmosphere. And to me, the idea of having a sanctuary that will comfortably fit a smaller number of people, where people are sitting around closer to each other than all spread out over a huge room, and where people feel close and engaged, is really what we should be about. Not, not just welcome, more like Hamish welcome. <laughs> they really did. And, and it was very important for Betty and I to be in a place where Elise would be welcome, and everybody, uh, everybody just loves her. And, then... and to me. After my husband died, I, you know, I did the 11 months I, I came. I tried to come every day, and uh, I mean, there was such warmth, and you know, sometimes I was a little, you know, shaken up, and somebody would come and stand with me without me asking, all of a sudden there's somebody there. Elise, what do you think of Bethel? Well, I think been to it night because I've been taking a bus to go to the house. That's right, she takes a bus from her school to our house to come to synagogue on Saturday morning. And you like coming here? Yeah. And I think that's the best part of Bethel is that you can just show up, like they say on the bumper stickers, no matter uh, who you are, what you're wearing, if you're having a good day or a bad day and you want to stop by the temple, so what we're hoping to do is create, um, first of all, access to the bima that anybody who's handicapped or wheelchair bound will be able to utilize. The second part that we're trying to do is create a sense of connectedness by creating a center part of the sanctuary space that's almost a theater in the round. This allows also for a sense of kind of cohesion around a central bima so that we're really more connected to the Torah, we're more connected to the prayer service happening. A lot of our members are subtly handicapped and right now when you walk into that sanctuary you have to walk a fair piece to sit down. With the new design it's a much shorter walk. There's also going to be room for wheelchairs up front. When I get an aliyah I have trouble getting up the stairs now but it, you know it would be more helpful if it was a ramp. It always is kind of heartbreaking to say, oh, I'm sorry. And then sometimes people have tried to go up on the beam and it's so difficult for them, but they really, really want to do it, you know, for their grandkid or for, and the whole time we're kind of like, oh, is it gonna work? Is it gonna happen? And Yeah, with the small chapel being a little too small for some Shabbat, and people are kind of squished in, and this being not too big for, you know, the amount of people that come to a bigger, like a bigger Shabbat, but not, it's, you know, it's, it's, there's a hard kind of, there's no middle ground. Absolutely, our old synagogue in uh, Eastern Mass um, was totally renovated and there was also a little discussion between, you know, fixed seats or movable seats and we went with the movable seats and we found that it just gives us so much, gave us so much flexibility. And the way that we're going now, we have a pretty good shot at completely wiping out our mortgage which would save the temple a huge amount of interest every year. We're a very lucky generation because we, we basically inherited this building, inherited this institution, inherited this sanctuary. It was the work and the commitment that the prior generations did for us and that we are lucky to receive. In the future without that debt, they've got infinite possibilities. Enjoy being Jewish because of the values and <clears throat> you know, the history, it's amazing that we've lasted so long and to continue it. So on Friday night when we celebrate Passover, one of the key ideas of the Seder is, is that we should look back towards the past and remember what happened to our ancestors in Egypt. So this idea is so important and so many of us as a community look back towards the past and think about the challenges and we hold on to that. But the truth is Judaism really admonishes us also to look towards the future and to plan towards the future. And what is so exciting about our sanctuary campaign is, is that it is planning towards the future, both in terms of the physical space and in making sure that we reduce the debt. And in all sorts of ways, we're saying we inherited from those who came before us a strong congregation, and we want to leave for those who come after us a strong and vibrant congregation. We are the of wisdom 
Not the first and not the last The door of our door Nagid God Lacha The door of our door We protect this chain From generation to generation The door of our door These lips will praise your name One day Cut Cut, no <laughs> <laughs> Cut! <laughs>